So in our outlook this year, what we saw is that revenues for the hotel market in South Africa grew by 8.1%, which is a very good growth rate. And this was driven mainly by an increase in average room rates and an increase in occupancy rates as well. Um, and this is also creating additional demand and also making the market seem more attractive again. And this is therefore going to lead to additional hotel rooms being added to the market. So we are forecasting an additional 2,600 rooms to be added to the market in the next five years. 54% of that will be within Cape Town. And I think one of the main reasons is given how popular Cape Town is as a tourist destination and just given the, the returns that Cape Town can, can generate. Um, that's why all that additional capacity is going to, to the Cape. Durban had a record uh, December and January season and we are seeing that continuing into 2016, their visitor numbers and stay unit nights are increasing. I think it's one, it is becoming more seen as an international destination by foreigners as well, um, but also there are quite a few major conferences happening in Durban um, as well. Johannesburg, I think compared to both Cape Town and Durban, is more of a business destination. So, you know, business people would, would be traveling either on their own or would, would still want to come to, to the city. So we did see that within Johannesburg, the stay unit nights were up in 2015 compared to 2014. So it seems they weren't as affected by the um, visa regulations. Our forecast was slightly um, less than what was actually achieved in both the occupancy rates and the stay unit nights. However, um, the average room rate was spot on and our forecast was an increase of 6.5%, which is what was achieved. But then given that lower um, occupancies and stay unit nights coming in less than our forecast, also the total room revenue growth came in slightly lower than our expectation of 8.9%. We have seen a definite increase in visitor numbers in the first four months of 2016, so it's looking very positive. I think uh, the, the, what happens within the global economy will potentially have an impact on, on tourism over the next couple of months and into 2017.